tell you how you should feel about your motherfucking self, G. I'm full of me because everything I said I wanted to do, I did, and I didn't let nobody tell me nothing else. And I got a resume to back it up. Tyler, the creator, has proven to us, his millions of fans, that authenticity leads to success. He's built an empire on precisely who he is. Extrapolating the mind of the creator would be like picking flowers off a botanical garden. The point is, when it comes to Tyler, he just does not miss. So, what can we learn from Tyler? I've been watching a lot of his interviews and, you know, I've been following Tyler Crater for a long time. One thing that he always takes pride in is how he learned everything by himself. Take a listen to this quick interview here where he talks about how he learned how to use the keyboard by himself. Where did you learn music? I just learned it listening and just studying and stuff. Piano taught yourself? Yeah. So I just learned it by ear and then from there you go from playing oh, two you, notes to But that you must have four. to be patient as fuck to hear it and go, where is that? Because you have to find the sound on the... Yeah, but patience is relative depending on what you care about. That's true. That's all I wanted to do. So like, it wasn't like, oh, I want to hurry up and do it. Like I enjoyed figuring it all out. A kid could just be like, hmm, I want to make a song like Pokey Doki and just go to YouTube and do a tutorial. And to me, while that is kind of cool, you never develop your own thing because like you don't spend the time figuring shit out. And a lot of the stuff I figured out is just accidents. Like my whole first album, Bastard, I put out in 2009. Uh, I had a cracked version of Fruity Loops, so you can't, you couldn't save the beats. Oh, so shit. I would have to make a beat or whatever, and then if I had another idea, I just have to export that beat the way it is, and that's it. Main takeaway for me, at least for that, when I first started making music, I did it also just no samples, just straight up. I downloaded FL Studio and got to just seeing what I could do with the drums. And then I progressed to another thing. I actually got myself XFER Serum, which I completely learned by hand. And that's why I make my own pack. And that's why the music that I make sounds, in my opinion, original, because I've made those presets myself. There are no samples, there are no nothing. They're just my own synthesized sounds. In the same way that Tyler the Creator might have picked up the keyboard and kind of learned how to make his own, you know, learned music theory through actually playing it. I'm not saying there's only so much you can do through sampling of course you you can become a sampling god i think in order to find that uniqueness that you know that creative edge that that style of yours that you can then latch onto and just present to the world you gotta do it by self by by hand and he spent years practicing don't get it twisted he's not one of those guys that came up out of nowhere to be very honest with you making this video now it's making me realize that i need to again pick up the keyboard and try to learn i have myself a little keyboard but i'm always too lazy because i think well i can just make better music without using the keyboard but what if i actually spent a year or two properly sitting down and learning the keyboard would i then have another edge would i then sort of have a paradigm shift in the level of my music production and i think the answer is yes 100 000 yes i'm just avoiding i'm avoiding all the effort here because it, it is effort you know this is the difficult part because nowadays everything is quite easy um get splice for example i tell everyone to get splice that's because I'm on it all the time, but anyone can make music that sounds the same, just like that. So like, especially in the way that if you're an artist trying to get a placement and you're trying to make a type beat or a beat in the style of this artist, it's very easy to do, but to make your own beat, to find your own sound, that's that takes uh, that takes repetition of new skills. It's been about three, four times now that people in the comments have asked me to make a tutorial on how I make my style of music. And it's hard to explain how difficult that is. What's even harder to explain is how, how that might be just be the best compliment I've received in terms of comments. Because think about that. Who doesn't want to hear that? People like your style of music so much, they want to know how you do it. But I have not been able to make a video on how I make my music. So I think if I start learning how to play the piano and really learn and relearn from myself, how do I make my music? Discover and define my own taste. Maybe I too can be a bit more like Tyler the Creator. And I don't mean like be a hip hop R&B artist. I just mean be 
individualistic and confident in my own style and be able to do all the things that I said I'm gonna do. Why do you make these videos on ASAP Rocky, Tyler the Creator, and all these, you know, hip hop artists? Because personally, these artists are the ones that I'm inspired by. Despite my difference in genre, I'm inspired by the success of ASAP Rocky, by the success of Tyler the Creator and by the struggles they went through, artistic journey they went through, because they're very open about it, they're very vocal about it. There's so much content out there on their interviews and whatnot. For some reason, I sometimes feel that the EDM industry is lacking a bit of artistry. Record labels own the style of the EDM industry, whereas I feel with more with hip hop still, these big artists own their own style and record labels just want in on it. So there's more ownership of style. There's more ownership of creativity. I want to bring that into EDM. And I know it goes against exactly that but that's why i started a record label because we take on artists that have their own defined style if you want to know more we've got a discord community it'll be linked in the description of this video thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel we are about to be monetized that's one of my main goals here on my days on youtube obviously to get monetized because that means i can start being paid for what i do here if you want to stay in touch follow me on instagram or join the discord community both are linked in the description of this video thank you so much for checking it out i will try to reply to all the comments i would also recommend you watch this video one of my favorite ones kind of me more talking a little bit as well all right peace this is my favorite song i've ever made in my life